on Shalai, you can stop in the house online, live stream PSN, Friday nights, 12 in the A&M, beginning news, trying to lose the interviews, you ain't non-GMO, ain't been approved, just hit that like button, and subscribe to it, rap gamers, all our viewers vibe to it, rap gamers, we gon' put the MC, back and get it XP, rap What's going on everybody, welcome back to rap gamers. Episode number three, I'm your host, Logic. We're here with Sogatron Media Studios. This is Asafu Digital Presents, the most amazing show to hit our internet in a long time. You know, where we can show black gamers, up and coming hip hop artists, and showcase them, bringing them to the forefront. You know, when there's really not a lot of platforms for today's up and coming artists that might have a positive message. We're trying to provide that so that you all can see what's really hot and what might be the next influence for our youth or those, you know, that are trying to push the culture forward, you know. But uh, today's guest, you know, out of Pittsburgh, a phenomenal artist by the name of King Folk. I hope y'all are familiar with him. If you're not, make sure you go check out his website, check out his music online, King Folk. That's what? K-I-N-G-F-O-L-K? BlackKingFolk.com. B L A K K I N G F O L K dot com. What's going on with you, man? It's been a, like we had the holiday over the way for those that you know might have celebrated it as a holiday, but we know yeah. it's Damn, a day that this day represents. Uh, you you know it might have represented some pain to a lot of our people as well. You know in this land, and some of us look at it as a holocaust. But you know we want to really <laughs> jump into a game that's. Uh, going to be something that will exercise the mind. I feel like this is something with, with, riddled with puzzles, uh, adventure, things of that nature. It's a classic PS game by the name of Rise of the Tomb Raider. So I think that this game right here, right now, will be something exciting to bring you into. <laughs> are you really a gamer or what do you do as far as gaming is concerned? How do you feel about this? I love video games. I just don't <laughs> play them because I'm really in the mix. That's all. Okay, okay. Yeah. In the mix, what do you mean in the mix? What's in the mix, bro? What I mean by in the mix, it's a, it's a, what you call the term? A vague term that could basically mean what I want, you know. But what I mean specifically, I mean basically doing all the things I need to do to take care of my business. Okay. You know, so that's like, you know, taking care of your queen at home. Everything. You know, providing for your household, your family, and your children. And you're providing good messages in your music. And I see right. that you got a lot of strong, powerful messages in your music. What really inspires you as, as an artist? Like, what really made you want to get into the game and say some of the things you say or speak on from your perspective? Well, brother, my inspiration is real life. You know what I mean? That's my inspiration. The things I go through, the pain I go through, what I see, the revelations I get, I just try to put that into my music because... I see that my music now, and a lot of things, people have a problem with communicating. You know what I mean? Like, I was just having a conversation with my brother. I'm like, damn, it ain't too many times you could really have a conversation with a person where it's really like, you know what I mean? Like, and the best way to get the message to people is through music, because they'll listen to that, and they ain't going to argue with you. <laughs> true story. True story. You know, the poets have always been, and the musicians, the entertainers, the artists, have always been the ones that kept our people you know, abreast of what things are going right. on in the world. Right. And it's good that you have something to say because a lot of times we get caught up in the money thing and we lose a message. Right. Everybody's trying to sell something, but they forget to, you know, sell themselves or <laughs> to own themselves before they sell themselves into something that they're not ready for. Right. But, you know, that's good that you have, you know, your foot grounded in what you're trying to create for the world. What type of projects like or do you like to do? What do you like to produce mainly when it comes to music? Like, what's your feel? What's your genre? I don't have a genre, brother. I just like. Whatever that I may be going through at that time, that's what I come up with. Like, like last song I made, basically about my man's getting killed. You know what I mean? To the black, and then I had a lot of pain. So the best way I brought that out was through the music. You know what I mean? So that's what it'll be like. If I go through something or something good happened, I feel good about something. I get inspired. I write a song about that. So it's like whatever I'm going through by the day. That's why my music is so authentic. And it's so relatable on so many levels. So tell me about a, 
a little bit, you know, you said that you, the, the pain that you go through as a black man in America. Right. And I understand that because we as Africans, we all have to deal with a lot of things, a lot of pressures that, you know, living in a land where we were colonized, right. you know, there's certain things that are pressed upon you. So dealing with that, how do you really cope? Like, give me like an example of something that you overcame that might be inspirational to like, you know, some of our youth that might tell our brothers how to become kings like yourself. You know, pushing your own self forward as an entrepreneur. Well, what I would say is this, brother. Like, I ain't even gonna give you an example of me overcoming. I'm a video of me enduring through the storm, because at the end of the day, we always got a storm to endure. Like, True. so you know, what I mean, yeah, coming out of a storm is always a beautiful thing, but it's always another one coming. You know what I'm saying? So it's important to stay prepared at the same time and not get caught up in the triumph of that you getting out of a situation. Will be prepared for what's next because I believe life is about a test and growth. You know what I mean? And that's just. Truth. It's definitely about growth. Right. And it's like, you know, what type of growth have you experienced as, a, as an artist in this city dealing with the uh, trying to make it, the grind of really getting your name out there, getting heard? Tell me a little bit about your grind. Like, how long have you been doing this? And, you know, and as far as your inspiration is concerned, Yeah. Hello. Yo, yo, yo. Are you working, bro? Yeah, yeah, it's good. I'm good. All right. Yeah, so as far as like uh, everything, like your inspiration is concerned, what made you really want to be like, okay, and what is that you're doing? Well, I've been doing this 11 years now. Okay. Yeah, cool. so it's been a journey. I done watched people stop, fall off, you know, quit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All of that. But the one thing about it, bro, you got to main focus on yourself. And you gotta, you can't focus on somebody else's progress or what lane they in, cause everybody can't nobody run your specific race that's designed for you. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like we each gotta run a race, so it's it's important to focus on to make sure we driving our car right. You know what I mean? In a metaphorical way. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I just think that's what the point is: focus on your own journey. True story. I hear what you're saying because no one can. There's only one you. Right. There will never be a duplicate. Right. So there's no competition with you being yourself unless they clone you. <laughs> right. Other than that, you're the only person that can tell your story. Exactly. And, you know, when we look at this thing as artists, I feel, because myself being an artist as well, we look at it like, okay, what is it that we're trying to do? Are we trying to be a light that shines the brightest? Or are we trying to get everybody to shine bright? You know, mm -hmm. it's, we have to inspire each other to want to push ourselves to be greater. Right. Instead of always, you know, hoarding the information. You know, I like see a lot of guys learn the, the game. One. They want to be the only one doing anything. <laughs> like, and that's some old, that's the wrong mentality. Right. But, you know, I like that. And I like the fact that you understand you got your own story. Those right there are seeds of real artistry. That shows that you really can define yourself. Right. You know, that's key. Define yourself as an artist. Say that. You know, know why you create the art that you create. Say that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, let's get into some of this game. Oh, Where is uh, really that control right, here. right there? So, uh, I ain't gonna put no seasoning because I ain't seasoned yet. <laughs> oh, it's all good. This right here should basically show you how to play as you get through it. Yeah, this came out, I believe there was an exclusive, this was a sequel to a game called Tomb Raider that came out on the PS3. And then they released a sequel on the Xbox uh, prior, like a year prior to wow. us receiving it on, on the PS4. But this is a phenomenal game. I love the first one. I feel like this. this game has always been made incredible, incredible and it's uh, visually. Wow, uh, look at this. It's visually remarkable. I ain't, they ain't playing. No amount of money's gonna get him through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's gonna be a hell of a fight. So, like, as far as video games is concerned with yourself, like, what do you have uh, experience with playing? Like, what did you, what did you go when you was young? What did you play when you was young? Bro, you know, I played that Tecmo that? Super Bowl. Okay. I used to play that all the time with that Super Nintendo. You know what I'm saying? That was mainly why I started. You okay. know what I'm saying? All them games, bro. Like the uh, Street Fighter. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I love him. I love yeah. him. Yeah, when we was just kidding. talking about that twisted metal, remember that? Oh yeah, twisted metal. When I came <laughs> back in the day, with PlayStation. Yeah, yeah bro. So yeah. that's basically like. Yeah, that, there's been a lot of games, man, and they're bringing a lot of the retro games back to it the is. forefront. A lot of the older stuff, and it's selling. Like you can't even buy none of the retro systems. No. They fly off the shelf so fast. So it's like, uh, you know, gaming is at an all time high right now. It's like changing the way everything works. But it's beautiful, bro, because we got to see the whole transformation. True story. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. every, like, we started with that Game Boy, all that, and then we seen every piece come out, bro, even to now. Yeah, true story. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So that's the beauty of it. Yeah, that's a privilege that a lot of people is. can't experience. The same with hip hop. We came up in the right. same area to birth of the whole thing. The we whole seen it thing. All. You know, we've seen it, and it's like it's when people try to tell us it, hip hop is something that we know that it's not, and we've been here to see all of it. But there's like new ideas that are the wrong ideas being implanted into it. You know, it's kind of insulting on us sometimes, but you know, it, it's easy for us to really find our own self and such as what you created in your music, mm -hmm. your message, because I hear how strong it is. You know, you go hard. And I don't know if any of that has to do with uh, like your family upbringing or what you were able, the values that were able to be instilled into you from your elders. You this know? is dope, cuz. Oh, that's what's up, man. Look at these, <laughs> like, oh, this is crazy. Just what I'm saying, like, it's just you never would have thought it, it would have transformed to this. Yeah, but, true story. You know what I mean? I never seen this whole, like, none of this. Yeah, I like how when it first came out, it was like very over sexualized again. Oh, and I think they did a great job turning that down, making it more about the gameplay than you know somebody's fantasy, you know what they might want to see, whatnot. But they were selling it with a different type of marketing strategy at the time. I like what they're doing with it now, you know. In comparison to games like Uncharted. I feel like this is really the optimum uh, game. I think this is the better of the two, even though I like Uncharted. But, you know, that's the... Uh, Jump laterally across gap. Yeah, pers yeah, Pascal, good. So you can jump. Try to jump over to one of those ledges over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this okay, game, she's a beast. This game got a lot of a uh, lot of puzzles too. That are pretty funky. Back in the day, it was kind of hard and glitchy, because when you had to find puzzles, you really couldn't tell like the difference between things that might have been in the background hidden. You'd spend hours going in circles looking for something that's been in front of your face the whole time, just because the graphics just weren't where they needed to be, right. or you know the pixels on the screen weren't able to be placed in the right places. Oh, girl, get your mind on up there. You know what? Let's play one of his records right now. Any day can be the day. I really want to uh, get... Let's hey, get that that's the truth, though. Uh, Ain't where, that where? the truth? <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, Let me know dude. when you got that cue. You know, but... Uh, bro, this is so hard, bro. Oh, right, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Tell me how y'all feel about this. Feel free to leave your comments down below because we live right now. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Ah! You know, this is Rap Gamers. If you're an artist that's up and coming and you want to get on the show, make sure you check out the information under the video when we complete it. But share this, man. Share it with your friends. Everything oh, they're going to make me climb over this Any day could be the day. Day, day, day. Any day could be the day. Day, day, day. Any day could be the day. Day, day, day. Any day could be the day. Day, day, and then it could be the day. Day, day, and then it could be the day. Day, day, and then it could be the day. Day, day. My dog, my dog got killed just the other day. Ain't heard a nigga. Yeah, I'm hard. Had to go wild that way. And my uncle D died just just the other week. And my younger just got shot. Almost down the ministry, so I had to get my praise. Ain't got it on my knees. And thank God that he sees me. Opportunity. I'm trying to get through that, through that. Hey, keep my spirit real tight. Got news from the crib. That little leader died. Oh no, hell no. How the fuck that happened? I need to ease my mind. 
Before I get to snap, niggas sliming in they snake list. They claim a dime, but faking. For him fantasies, they chasing. By the time, yeah, they wasting. Any day could be the day. Day. And any day could be the day. Day. Any day could be the day. 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 Any day could be the day. Day. Any day could be the day. Trying to watch that game. Well, that's a deep line, bro. Well, that's how, well, I'm telling you, bro. If I get into it, I'll be playing, bro. Like, I was 10 times playing the game. Because, you know what I mean? I know, like. Any day could be the day. Work, bro. Yeah, bro. Okay, okay, it's it's I mean, why wouldn't you play that like this? She <laughs> I mean, it's great mental exercise, man. It gives you the ability to work on hand-eye coordination, uh, you know, strategizing, planning things out. It's a lot of things that go on with this. And if you look into the information pertaining to how video games affect the mind, you'd be surprised. You'd really be surprised. And, bro, what I just got to like, just so that just because you're moving laterally don't mean you ain't going nowhere. Sometimes you got like you got to move over and then go up. You understand? Yeah, true story. Yeah, bro. You know In life, mean? that's how it is. Right. And that's kind of like chess, too. Sometimes you got to move over, then go up. You know, there's many, many ways that we can move in this in this life game. You know, and, and it's very important that we start catching on as black people to technology. <laughs> we really need to be more into the tech side of things because this is actually going to be the future. Future jobs are going to be based around technology. A lot of uh, machines are replacing jobs today, so... Is they? Yeah. Well, I seen that one robot, it was jumping like 30 feet. Oh, word, word? Yeah. What was that, the one at CMU? No, nah, bro, this is some people that's really making them. Okay. Like, they got, they got, even got robot dogs, bro. But they said they're oh, using yeah, them I seen to try those. to use this, like... The police dogs and stuff like that. That, and they're trying to use them for, like, uh, you know, war tactics. Like, yeah, send the dogs that. in to bring the ammo. You know, yeah, when they run story. out of ammo, they send the... I mean, the dog run over... Like a little yeah, robot, and they bring the ammo back. True story. Yeah, bro. That, you know, automated uh, foot soldiers and things of that yeah. nature. Like on some robot. Like robot. Like some robot, RoboCop shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, true story. It was like in real life. <laughs> true. But that's important that we learn of these things, and we don't wait till it's too late to try to get knowledge of these things. You know, are you interested in technology? Have you always been around computers, or what type of uh, things have you been influenced by te technologically? Everything, bro. Okay. You can't be. You can't be. I mean, That's either you adjust and adapt, or you get left out. True story. You know what I mean? Or that's, that's why. You know what I mean? That's why a lot of people they don't want to change. Like a lot of older people, they don't want to change to the new world, or it ain't even changing. You just adjusting. Everybody wants to step is changing. It don't. It changes. You just adjusting and adapting. That's part of life. You got adjust and adapt. In some things. In some things. Some and that things, is, yeah, we do yeah. have to grow. But we also have to try to hold true to the values hey bro, I'm gonna get over here, bro. of our ancestors. Just jump, uh, lean, this, lean yourself over. As soon as you jump, you just press square to hook your joints into the ice. You should be able to uh, catch it. Yeah, boom. Ooh. Now you got to do your thing like that. Yeah. yeah they, did a, they did a great job with the way the ice looks. Man, did they? You look at the textures, it, it looks really dope. They do. I love the way the sunsets and the colors are used in this Everything. game. Everything. They did a great job, man. All the way around. Right. Yeah, this Tomb Raider game is pretty funky. If you haven't played it, you need to get out there and play this game. It's amazing. If you haven't got it, you need to find it and copy it, man. It's an amazing game. <laughs> True story. Damn, come on. And it's pretty long, too. It has a lengthy storyline. A pretty good storyline. You're not oh, going to get bored goodness. with the storyline, you know. Oh man, yeah. Just stay, <sighs> stay pushing the, uh, the square to hook your joints into the ice. I'm sick. You can jump up and just hook your joints into the ice. That's what I do instead of climbing a lot of times. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. 
Oh yeah, you gotta dodge these uh these falling boulders and whatnot. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Jump across, jump across. We're over there? Yeah, yeah, quickly. Because avalanche is coming. Lean over that way. Lean over to the side. Jump across it out. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Try to get out of here because I think the snow is... And then you got to jump back up on there and start climbing some more. This is crazy because people really do this. People yeah, really do. do this in real life. And by they, themselves. No they, video game. No. If you fall, it's over. <laughs> It takes a lot of strength to do that. That takes phenomenal arm strength. And and, and, and trusting yourself. Yeah, true story. True story. Because this is true of trusting yourself. Go ahead, go ahead. Ah, you blood clot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm small. She did oh, yeah, that. You got, it, you got it. Jump across to that little gap you see, and then hook your joints in the in the ice over there. Ah, oh, boom. Okay. Yeah, you got it. It's just I'll be trying to angle myself because if you don't angle, it's not gonna do it right. Mm -hmm. Jump. Yeah, jump straight across and then hook your joint in the ice. No, why is she? Because you right. gotta push. You're not pushing hey, the. Well, you can do that you part. Let's get into that next part. Let's see. Right. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, they did. It's crazy. It is crazy. So tell me some more about your plans, man. What you got going on with your music as far as, like, what you working on right now? Well, my, my album about to be released through the uh, little label. Okay. Uh, What's the uh, label? Uh, Bentley Records. Bentley Records. Yeah, a little okay. international label. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got uh, uh, distribution and marketing from. Uh, okay. My album, The Golden Ratio, about to come out. And okay. You, and you know that's a that's, so it's gonna be called the golden ratio. Yeah. Okay. Some epic title. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. You know that's what the dope. golden ratio is? Explain to me. I don't. Tell me. It's uh, it's called. I mean, the ratio itself is like one point six one four, but it's basically the mathematical equation. I don't understand why she did that. I had the button and she just. I don't know. But it's just like you know what I mean. It's what they build the pyramid off of. The pyramids, okay. And it's a, it, 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 like if you look in flowers, that whole little degree that we're going, it's a golden ratio. Everything in life, basically, is deep. Ah, uh, geometry. Yeah, it's I deep. Did. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I wanted to get, like I said, I wanted to get something for the people to learn. Like, so when they see that title, they'll look it up. You know what I mean? Cool. You know what I mean? Because it's like I'm trying to inspire us to want to keep learning and stuff. And like. that's the key. Learning is the key. <laughs> we should be getting smarter. We should be learning to work smarter, not harder. If we use our intelligence collectively, we can accomplish anything, and that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. So, so what you got? The uh, you got any shows that you're gonna be doing? That like pushing? Are you going on doing any concerts for the album? Going on tour? Uh, I'm gonna have a listening party, a little intimate listening party. Okay. But aside from that, just my marketing plan, bro. You know, just to promote it. You know what I'm saying? Like, was there a certain audience? You are you just, you know, gave different aspects of your life on this one that you wanted was there an audience that you wanted to aim for or was there like a uh, how how was that for you i just put i put a diverse versatile like okay. selection of songs okay. from everything like i mean you're gonna get everything from the album you're gonna get you know the pain you're gonna get inspired you're gonna get motivated you gonna get everything you i wanted the, to make sure i put a piece of everything on there well who, who did the production who did the beats? Oh, mainly my man J Pad the Juggernaut. J Pad, phenomenal producer out yeah. of Pittsburgh. I got a couple of tracks from James Webb. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with Webb. Webb been yeah. down for a while. And that's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> that's cool. That's what's up. I like that. So Damn. let's jump into another one of your records. Letter to the Oppressor. And this is a little bit more deep. Yeah. And this is. is heartfelt. I want to hear what you got to say, though, because it's interesting. And I'm interested. You know, in the pain of my people, figuring out how we can solve these issues. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I thought I. The place of the Most High I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, 
He is my refuge, my fortress. He is my God, and in Him I trust. This right here, right here, dressed to our oppressors. Who taking up my brothers, trying to keep us down? Let's a few little things. Things all we let you know. Sincerely being made after this week. That's one too many times. Forget what y'all did. You all eradicated people, slaughtered many wives and kids. Can we come to realization? Not to turn back his way and stole many trap his steps. They said, No, please stay out. Some shit you can see. You can see attacks by surprise. Surprise each and every day. Figure more shit out. That knowledge what we bout. I'll take it. 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 I'll
towards, you know, getting, getting where we need to be. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, so it's basically letting y'all know, like, y'all think all of us out here ignorant and sleep. You know what I mean? So and that's when, you not, say, when you say getting to where we need to be, are you talking about, like, having better education for our children, making sure that we're being taught things about ourselves, our African knowledge of self. Right. You knowing know? our true self, knowing what we're capable of. Truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, and basically, because everything is about, like, I, all of us have the same really abilities unless you were taught it. You know what I mean? Or you build with a disability. We all have the same abilities. Just some people tap in and some people don't. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's what Facts. it's about, trying to get people True. to open up. Tap into tap that into natural it. intellect that we got. Right. You know, we can accomplish so many things, and so many things have already been We're accomplished by us. Yeah, truth. <laughs> but we have to use that creativity, and that's the key. You know, and that's dope. That's dope. So, you know, in saying all of that, I respect that, man. I respect an artist being himself and speaking about whether, you know, anything, whether it may be painful to some or it may be loving for some. Mm -hmm. However people take it, just get your truth across because you're the only person that will ever be able to tell it. Right. You know, and if you don't tell it, you know, tomorrow's not promised, so it might never be told. So, right. And you can saying. only respond well to truth, bro. Like... Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've been, like, on that lady, like, like anybody around me, like, it's like, people, if you don't got no truth, how can you give the right response or the right advice? You know what I mean? Y'all try to hide pieces of the story or telling somebody something so they'll give you, but that ain't, you ain't, you ain't getting the right advice if you asking, you know what I mean, when you trying to give untruth, like, or halfway through. You know what I'm saying, bro? You got to tell people to keep behind. Scoot over to the side. Come on. Hey, yeah, you're good, you're good. Yeah. Good man. Yeah, true story. You got sure, to yeah, you gotta be able to live life and be able to articulate how your life was lived for you to create music that's gonna push culture forward. Doing the same thing everybody's doing for the gimmick will never work. <laughs> yeah, it's like a bunch of rats running in a wind constantly. <laughs> everybody's doing the same it's thing like over and over and over again. And nobody's learning. It can't be that way. Much smarter, so bright. The brightest minds create the most phenomenal records, but uh, we don't we don't allow ourselves. We we clown each other for being bright. Woo, boy! Y'all thought I was asleep. Oh yeah. You're doing dope in this game, man. Especially to be your first time playing Tomb Raider. And how long was the last time you played the Tomb Raider? Bro, I ain't playing no Tomb Raider since like 2002 when they had it on regular PlayStation. Man. Well, so much I, has changed since then. Man. It is, so but at the end of the day, just like with the man games, bro, I can get on here and still be somebody that play every day because I play with strategy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I pay attention. You know what I mean? And I and I, and when you got that, I think it will take you a long way. Like. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's Cause up. Because I'm telling you, yeah, that's why I asked you to have that man because I was about to, you know what I mean? Get them Tampa Bay Buccaneers like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. So as far as like... uh. Is there any other people that you'd like to give shout outs to that might have helped with your newest projects or anybody that really is like your strongest inspiration? Anybody that you might in your family you might want to give a shout out to? Anything like that? Man, shout out to everybody in my life because everybody inspired me. Everybody gave me something. You know what I mean? Whether they caused me some pain, you know what I mean? Whether they, 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 it was a lesson in the pain, you know what I mean? And they gave me something, made me stronger. So shout out to everybody that even. Good and bad. Sure. <laughs> you facts, know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. That's what's up, man. We always got to give shout outs to those that help us get to where we're at. You know, to those that came before us and gave us information to teach us. You know, a lot of times we forget that, you know, we may be in this world, but there are people that, that were in this world before us that have lived many different stories of their own and they have their own truths to tell. And a lot of times we lose the respect for that. So that's good that I can see young artists out here really getting it, but they have respect for what came before them. You know, that's what uh, is inspirational, man. I mean, and, we, and it's good when I can see artists that have music that I'm not worried about the children listening to. Because everything <laughs> can't be shoot them up, bang, bang. We're more intelligent than that. That's, <laughs> everybody ain't a drug dealer in life. Come on, man. I got to keep saying that because that's we're over. We're flooded with drug culture right now. We're being flooded we're, with drug culture. They're pushing that And it's on being it. shoved in, down our throats. Like everybody is just doing the wrong Agenda. thing. Yeah. And it's just like that's not it. And I want y'all to understand that we have talented artists out here with bright minds. They have ideas to bring to the world and to push us forward into, you know, brand new horizons we might not have even imagined we could be in.
Mm-hmm. You know, that's what we need to be in those spots. But know? I believe the game about to change, bro. Okay. I believe the game about to change, bro, because, like, at the end of the day, yeah, like I said, the young generation, bro, they, they, they really are smart and they, they hip to what's going on. It's just that they steer it wrong, bro, like, and they don't have no guidance for real, bro, like, because at the end of the day, people want to be successful. Everybody, and that's what you got to realize. And at the end of the day, they trying to follow who's in front of them that they seem, that is seemingly successful. True. You know what I'm saying? So they're following the, to make music like what they see or people are responding to. But they only see that that's a small demographic. They right. got to open up their minds and know this is a bigger demographic that can feed them. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have to sell yourself out. True. You know what I'm saying? Like You can you still get like, some type of conversation. Do you feel like our people are rewarded for doing things that sell our people down the river? Like we get better incentives to do the wrong thing over the right thing? Yeah, of course. But they, they, they pick the certain wrong. people. <laughs> they pick certain people to use to give them the incentives. You know what I mean? They, the weak ones. Right, you know what I'm saying? Sure. They, you know what I mean? They're going to pick the weak ones because, of course, them is the easy ones to get. True but story. the weak ones sometimes be in certain powerful positions. So with, when they decide to give in, certain people like they would look up to, like, say, for example, Steve Harvey. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how you going to give in and shake Trump's hand when this man is trying to do all this stuff to, you know, demoralize and all that stuff like that? But you get up there and shake his hand. Like, you know what I mean? And people look Thanks. up to you. You know what I mean? A lot of the black women look up to you. <laughs> maybe maybe your story ain't that authentic, but still they looking up to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like... <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like we put... We have a habit as of, as Africans of putting sellouts on a pedestal. Right. Ooh, you know? bro, that's the and, best way you said you know, it, bro. But that actually, <laughs> that was a quote that I got from Dr. Umar Johnson, who's actually in the midst of trying to create a school for our children. Right. You know, he, he hasn't part. necessarily reached that goal yet, but I'm saluting the brother, and I hope that he's able to accomplish his goal, because we do need schools that are founded in our African tradition and the tr- tradition of our ancestors in the way that we were taught so that we can continue our legacies. We do need that. That's a phenomenal idea. And it would be even more phenomenal if other people got on the bandwagon to aid him as well in his endeavor. Mm -hmm. Because it might bring more of our people into technology. It's an age of technology. It's an age of information. So we're pushing forward to become even wiser than we were generations before. Right. You know. But you're getting pretty far in this game. Like, this game is really, this hasn't really been uh, giving you too many obstacles, I haven't seen. Well, uh, it is. It's, you know what I mean? I'm going to figure <laughs> it out, bro. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to figure something out, you can figure it out. True. You know what I'm saying? True story. Like, you know what I mean? It's just that it is. People are just lazy, bro. Yeah, okay. That's okay. just the key, bro. Like, a lot of my, even with my models and stuff like that for my clothing line, Bro, I don't even be doing with them like that no more. It ain't the fact that they they could they look the part, but they're not the part. If you okay. feel what I'm saying. And tell me about the part. What does it mean to be the part? Like you could be good or you could be great. Tell right. me about the what's the difference in in those things. Like well, what are you saying? It's almost like you you just basically want to do with only the bare minimum just to get in or achieve something like. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to do, you know what I mean? You want to look it. You want to barely do any work, but you're really not that wholesome, that person. Like, like say a basketball player, you know what I'm saying? He had, like, he, all he want to do is shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like, so all he do is, and he, all he want, like, he know how to shoot, but he don't even practice on shooting. He just want to practice shooting sometimes. That That's type of thing. You know what I mean? Like he don't like, ever want to come to uh, practice, but he want to. And you don't, you don't want to show up in every area. It's kind of like my man Allen Iverson, you know, <laughs> phenomenal basketball player, but he didn't want to go to practice and it created a situation. For right. Him. You know what I mean? But it's like, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, you know, you, know, you could be you good it. or you could be great. A right. lot of people just are satisfied with being good at a thing. You know, being good so somebody could recognize them, they got a little bit of fame. But that's the difference between an artist knowing who they are and an artist that's trying to do what everyone else is doing. And these are the two <laughs> separate things. But, you know, that's far and few. Everybody's different. You know, and art comes in many different forms. So, you know, I just hope that it's progressive towards the people that are listening to it. Because just like we are what we eat, we also are what we listen to. And if we listen to garbage, our minds become full of garbage and we respond that way constantly. You know, and there will be no uh, evolution. There will be no evolution if we don't allow ourselves to evolve. 
Exactly. You know, if we don't allow ourselves to grow. And so, stop thinking you could walk around and just do anything and be unaffected. Right. right. That's what the problem is. But if you can listen to anything, do anything, you know what I mean? And just act like you'll be unaffected. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But everything you do affects you. Okay. Well, so we're going to play a video of yours now so our audience can see one of your visuals to see what everything is going on, what you got creatively, visually. Come on. This joint is called Gonna Be Free. Yeah, you already know. Okay, okay. Not, not, I'm about to be, I'm going to be. Okay, that's what's up. And that's the message that we want to proclaim, that we're going to be free from whatever is trying to keep us in shackles. Exactly. You know, get outside that box. There shouldn't even be a box to exist in, you know? She's strong as hell. She definitely is super strong. <laughs> <laughs> she got no muscles. But she's strong as hell. <laughs> Black King, Black King, Black King. I'm gonna be free from that shit. They ain't gonna keep me down. I'm gonna be free from the chain cracker. Try to place I'm gonna be free. I'm gonna try to keep a nigga blinded eye. Why did I find a gonna be free? Gonna be free. It's the day won't need me. I'm gonna be free. I'm gonna be free. Open up my mind and my spirit and I can see it now. Kept a nigga down, kept me long as you could. What you misunderstood, folk, that's and for that good. I'm supposed to get that shine, I'm supposed to really prosper. I'm supposed to get these riches and broken off real proper. Had an issue with them coppers, they really tried to slip me. They had me for a minute, but it really did invest me. Bounce back up off that low and did a triple back. I eluded all them traps, hit that turbo with my flat. Had my focus, my full stop, I only deal with one top. That's accumulate improper. Showtime nigga watching Why I expand in my horizon I'm covering most demographics That business in me dog Still my life in a graphic Be free from the chain Cracker try to place I'm gonna be free I'm gonna try Keep a nigga blind and I Why if I'm gonna be free Gonna be free Until the end the day Won't me I'm gonna be free I'm gonna be Open up my mind and my spirit And I can see it No matter what position, gotta stay up on my job. Cause that enemy steady looking to disrupt and dislodge. He steady trying to trap me and steady trying to get me. Got the most high head with me and I know he gonna equip me. Shape well put together and my mind won't dismember. Ain't sticking to that agenda. Take your hand on surrender. I'm a natural born real winner. Hanging nothing like a beginner. And I'm always on my shit. January to December. Got the wisdom and I'm here. I know all about that plan. And you won't get me with it. Definitely not my fam. I'm loaded up with them hands by the boom, by the band. And I got a name to protect. It's a legacy at hand. I'm gonna be free from the chain crack to try to place on my face. I'm gonna try to keep a nigga blind and I'm gonna be free. 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 was pretty funky right there so right, like yeah. uh in that video right there what was did you do the directing like you really directed it or how did the, did the director do that well basically bro i i set up all the scenes like you know okay. what i mean and they just you know edited them all together like you know what i mean like i i figure i figure out all the scenarios who i want how i want to look you know what i'm saying what was the story like basically that you were telling people in your video you're going to be free besides the fact you know i've I want to know how it came together visually. What, what did each thing mean? Oh, well, that main scene, right? This is the deep one, bro. Right? Okay. When they had, when I was on that pole, uh -huh. and then there was the one white girl 
holding the one part of the chain and the black girl uh -huh. because that was to illustrate that both people was trying to hold me down. Like it ain't just the white, you know what I'm saying? Like it's my own people that's trying to keep me back too. Like so, that, you know what I mean? I ain't try to single it out because people always say, "Oh, you know, white people." It ain't just white people. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's both. Like you know what I mean? It's all good and bad people. Yeah, and I wanted story. to show the that. The devil like, comes in many forms. Right. You know what I mean? It can be evil in any shape. Right. And they want us to believe that the, the devil doesn't come looking like us, but we know that it does. Right. And, you know, we have to try to embrace righteousness or figure out a path that can best get our people to the way, the place we want to be. Right. You know, we can't work backwards against our development. But that's right. dope, though. I like that message, and we need that. We need to be free mentally. You know, we need to be free with our ideas because we need new ideas. And we need people to stop being afraid to come out with new ideas. Right. You know. That's why they keep making the same music. Be bro. different. Be different. Please be different. Please. Because that's going to create a whole new way for music to go. Hashtag, um, please be different. Yes. Please, <laughs> please do that. Please love you know it. Please be yourself. Yeah. You know, uh, you know what? I want to get into something right now. I want to get into our non-GMO hip-hop spot, and I want to see what he really got. So I'm going to throw a classic beat on, throw something on classic that we can have him rhyme to, and we're going to see what he got so that you all can get a feel for what he really has to say. Uh, this is what's up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you do this justice, my brother. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna put that two talk. I don't even wanna disrespect this. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna keep your head up. Mm. I gotta keep my head focused on the right way. I gotta stay focused on that every single day. Cause I got too much. Then seen a lot of pain. So I gotta get ahead to make sure I sustain. I gotta maintain and keep my family good and everything I got. Dang, hold up. Ah, 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 bro, you know, I'm going to tell you. Come on, give it to me, brother. I'm going to let you go over time, brother. Come on, you got to show the bro. world what you got, brother. Can't know, fuck, bro. man. I ain't really no freestyle, bro, but I'm doing Hold up. Hold up. Mmm. 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 Investing in my way. Investing in my way. Bro, I ain't ready, bro. Like, bro, so, I ain't so ready, bro. You ready, 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 bro. King Folk, man. Make sure y'all check out his music. Make sure y'all hit up his websites. Check out his links. See what other videos he got, because he got a lot more videos. Uh, man, just make sure you hit that subscribe button, like our channel. You know, black love is everything. You know, black gamers matter. And it's great that we can bring ourselves into technology. I love y'all. I want to say peace out. And I'll see you guys next Friday for another episode of Rap Gamers. All right, y'all. Bam.